So just rolling the shoulders. We're just going to do a warm up first. Get the muscles, joints, everything moving, rolling the shoulders. I'm sure we're all doing a lot of sitting around more than normal, so we're getting a bit tight. And roll the shoulders back, rotating the body. So really try and get your thoracic spine rotating. Make the movements bigger and bigger as you go. So really exaggerate it. So you can get as much mobility as possible. That's great. Nice. Okay, just warming up the shoulders. It's like a walk like the Egyptian kind of movement. You'll probably hear quite a few clicks and cracks as you do this, don't worry. If anything's sore, that's a worry. Clicking, if, you, if it's not sore, it's just joints popping, a bit stiff, a bit tight, things loosening up. Rolling the shoulders. Right, come down onto the mat. Put your left leg in front. Make sure your right leg is stretched far back and have your knee over your ankle. Put your hands on the floor. And just from here, you're going to roll your hips side to side. Yeah, so for those who are on Zoom, if you will, you're all on Zoom, click on speaker view and then you should see me. Not that I'm fabulous, but then you can see what to do. Straighten that hamstring and going forward. I'll show you without the hands, so you're going to straighten the hamstring. Think of sticking your bottom out behind you, so you really get a nice hamstring stretch. Stick your bottom out, and going forward. And this is just a nice way of loosening up the muscles, and getting the muscles sliding and gliding against each other. Because when we exercise, we need that kind of movement, that sliding and gliding. Good. Right, now stay with that knee and that leg out. So my now, the leg that was in front is now straight. Put your hand on the floor. And now, with your hand over, you're going to rotate your shoulders towards the floor. And back. And rotate towards the floor. And think this arm is in the air. Really reach it away from you so you get a nice stretch. And stretch. And find the, find the position where you feel the most stretch. And you'll feel it sort of here. And slide your foot away from you and back. And slide. And keep reaching this hand that's in the air away from you. And slide. And back. One more. Good. And now we're going the other way. So my other leg is in front. For me, it's my right leg. Hands on the floor. Slide that left hip back. So I've got a nice stretch for my hip flex on the left and my glutes on the right. And roll your hips. Side to side. Just getting a nice warm up before we start. Good. And just rolling those hips side to side as you go. And now straighten that front knee, stick your bottom out, and back. When you go back, make sure you're not rounding too much. You actually want to think of arching your back, sticking your bottom out, because that's where you get a stretch all the way from your hamstring insertion. So stick your bottom out as you go, and you feel a nice stretch in that tummy in the front. And stretch. So this is more of a dynamic stretch because it's stretching with movement and this is much more beneficial than static stretching, especially for athletes. Okay, or any of us. Right, facing forward, leg out straight, my right leg out straight, lying, put my hand on the floor, reaching over and we're going to rotate those shoulders towards the floor and away. And remember, reach this arm away from you. And back. Good. And really try and play with it. Find where you feel the most stretch sort of in this area. Once you've found it, slide your foot away and back. And slide your foot away and back. And sliding away. Good. And back. All right. Coming to the middle, and you're going to do the vortex cut. So it's a deep squat. And it's literally, imagine, sorry, excuse the name, it is what it says on the tin. If you can try and keep your heels flat and deep squat. If you've got knee issues, don't do this. Then you can just do a sort of a hamstring stretch reaching down. But if you're able to, and I'll play from the front, get your arms inside your thighs, your knees, and just rock a little bit side to side. If you've got knee issues, please don't do this. This will pinch the cartilage. Okay but it's very good mobility for ankles, hips, and knees. 
And then from here, hands on the floor, and just straighten up, and go back down. And straighten up, so it's a nice handstand face, relax the head, and back down. And last one, and curling up. Right. So we're going to start with, we're going to do five 60 second high intensity intervals in between our exercises. So we're going to start with, there's no plyometric jumping today. Often I find after weekend we're a bit tired, a bit sore, a bit, need a bit of oiling. But we're going to, on your, standing on your left leg, bend like this, and you're going to bring your knee in and out. Like this, a power movement, okay? But wait, we'll do it for 60 seconds. Okay. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Use your arms to help you. Keep your weight on this left leg and power the knee up. I want you breathing out. Let's go. And go. I hope you can all see me. It looks like you're frozen, but you can see me. That's it. Keep going. I want nice power. Really pull that knee in with your abs. So it's a strong movement. 25. Keep going. Good job. Make sure this left leg is nice and solid. That's 30. Keep strong. Whatever you do, don't stop. If you need to slow it down, you can. But don't stop. 20 seconds left. That's it, guys. 15. Keep powering your way. Knee in. Breathe out with the knee in. 10. That's it. Keep going. You should be starting to feel this left glute. Because your knee is bent. 3. Two, one. Good job. Well done. That's the first minute down. Okay. What I do with these workouts is also go from standing to lying to standing to lying because that helps work the cardiovascular system. So let's get down on the mat. You're going to line your back. Arms to your side, palms facing up. With the palms facing upwards, you open up the chest a little bit. Okay. So from here, Feet hip distance apart, knees bent. You can see the white line on my pants helps quite nicely. From here, you're going to roll your pelvis up. <coughs> Those who haven't done Pilates before, you're wanting to try and lead with your pubic bone. So you want to, as you're going up, you want to think of pushing through your heel, push your heels away from you, and you're going to lift your bum up, but you're going to curl that way as you go through every vertebra, and you squeeze your bum up top. And then you curl down, vertebra by vertebra. If you're a guy and your body doesn't do that, just lift up straight. <coughs> so let's go for 20. Squeeze. And squeeze. And at the top, really squeeze. We're doing 20. <sighs> Remember, with your heels, push through your heels. And push your heels away from you. So you really engage those glutes. And squeeze. Pull your belly button in towards your spine the whole time. So you want to tilt your pelvis and squeeze. So at the top, my pubic bone is higher than my hip bone. So my pelvis is tilted. And lift. Ten more. Squeeze. And squeeze up. Nice. Remember to breathe out as you lift. And at the top, really give it a deep squeeze. Push the heels away. Squeeze your bum. You really should feel the glutes to this. Four more. One thing I'm very bad at is counting. Sorry. So I can't make it up. Two. On the last one, come up and hold it there. Push the heels away from you. Squeeze your glutes. Tilt your pelvis. Tummy in. And you're going to squeeze your knees together, pulsing them. Keep the bum up. And imagine you squeezing your knees through thick mud. So really try and activate it. Squeeze. We're going for 20. If your lower back's getting sore, tighten your tummy more and tilt your pelvis more. You want to try and lengthen out any arch and keep squeezing. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it there. Don't drop down. Now you're going to march your legs for 20, keeping your hips dead still. Just one leg up and down. And up. And keep, when you put your foot down, push that heel away from you so you activate your glutes. 
Make sure your hips stay the same level. You can even put your finger bone tips on your hip bones. Make sure your hips don't drop. Keep squeezing your tummy. Keep tilting your pelvis. And squeezing those glutes. Nice. Five more on each side. One, two, three, and squeeze. Four, five. Nice. Come down, give your back a little rest. Hug your knees to your chest. <coughs> We're not quite done. Okay, put your feet back down where they were and lift your right leg up into the air. <coughs> and now we're going to lift for 10 just on this side, single leg. Let's go, lift your bum. One, two, three, four. Squeeze that left glute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs, left leg in the air. And going up and down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice work, guys. Eight, nine, ten. Put your legs down. Drop your bottom onto the mat. Now, walk your feet a little bit further out. So it feels slightly like they're too far. Feels uncomfortable. There's still a bend in the knee, probably about 60 degrees. And we're going to lift the bottom from here again, pushing through the heel. So lift your toes up, just have your heels on the ground. And we're going to lift up and squeeze for 20. What this does is it actually starts working the hamstring more. If you're finding your hamstrings are going to cramp, bring your feet back in closer. But it's a little bit more hamstring rather than just glute. 10 more. Remember to keep your stomach muscles pulled in and squeeze the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. And good. Hug your knees up to your chest. Roll your legs side to side. Back. Yeah. All right. So now we're standing on our right leg. Getting ready to go. Lifting the knee up and in. Really make it a nice strong movement. Keep this leg you're standing on bent. And go for 60 seconds. Keep that power. Make it a nice strong movement. Good job. That's 10 seconds down. Power this knee in. Keep this leg nice and strong. Tummy in all the time. Shoulders down and back. Good job, 25 seconds down. Keep it up. Come in all the time. Breathing out as you bring your knee up. Nice strong movement, guys. 20 seconds. Good, 15, come in, shoulders down. Nice strong movement. 10. Let's make sure you start feeling it. Three, two, one, and shake that leg up. Very good, well done. Okay, down onto your mat again, onto your left side. Right, we're going to go into a high plank. High plank means with a straight arm. If you've got a wrist problem, you can do it on your elbow, no, no problems with that. But you're going to come up into a high plank, your top leg is in front of you. The back leg, your underneath leg is behind. And you're going to come up into this position. Notice my shoulder is over my hand. A lot of people do that. Really try and make sure that your shoulder is right over your hand. And we're going to thread the needle. Coming through and up for 10. Through, so you're rotating your body. You twist and up. Good. Four. Five. Six, nice work everyone. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, other side. So again, if you can go on a straight arm, if you need to bend the wrist and 
go onto your elbow because you have wrist issues. My top leg in the front, bottom leg underneath, and my shoulder is right over my hand. I'm not there. I'm there, reaching up. And let's go. One. Whoops, lost my balance. Two, keep your tummy pulled in tight. Three. Four. Try and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Don't do that. Five. Six, squeeze your tummy. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very nice. Back onto the other side. So generally, we all tend to forget our sidelines, which is why we quite a lot of stuff in the, on the side. Because our lateral lines and medial lines are so important. So, on your left side, left elbow, we're in a plank position. Your underneath leg, left knee is bent. And you're going to lift your right leg up. So in this position. Okay. And our hips are going to go down and up. For 10. 9. Hey, keep this right leg in line with your hip so it doesn't drop down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it there, drop your right leg down and up. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, squeeze. Six, seven, tuck your tummy. Eight, keep going. Nine, and ten. Very nice. Other side. Okay. So I'm now on my right side. Right elbow. My right leg underneath is bent. And I'm going to lift up. Again, my elbow is under my shoulder. So I lift. Okay. And hips down and up. One. Two. Tummy in. Shoulders down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, tummy in, nine, keep the leg in line with your hip. Now hold it there, leg up and down. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. I was flipping. Good. Come and stand up. Okay, we're going to do our left leg again. Standing on the left leg, bring it up and down for a minute. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. And lifting up. Make sure you've got a nice power with that knee. Bring it in. Try and use your abs. Lifting, good. That's it. Really strong. Keep this left leg nice and strong. I'll show you from the front. See my left leg stay strong. My knee stays facing forward. And I'm not letting it go anyway. So it's solid. Keep going. 30 seconds. Nice, guys. 20 left. Whatever you do, don't stop moving. If you need to slow it down, that's fine, don't stop. But 10 more. 5, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Stick your bum up, give a little smack, shake that leg out. Right, back onto the mat for push ups. So you notice we keep going up and down, up and down. And this really gets the heart rate going. I want your hands under your shoulders. So they're going to be narrow. I'll say from here. And when we do the push-up, your elbows must graze your ribs as you go up and down. So I don't want wide, narrow. You can do it on your knees or full push-up. And also, in this position, shoulders leg down the back. Your back stays nice and strong. There's no arching. And your nose is going to go 45 degrees forward. So I'm not going straight up and down. I'm actually going forward. We're going to go down to three. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can do it 
on your full push up, fall on your knees, and you go down and up. But we're going to go down for three, up for one. We're doing eight of those. Let's go. On your knees, all full push up. Shoulders down the back. Think you're going to notice going forward. Down for three, two, one. Push up. Two, two, down. Three, two, one. Four. Remember, your tummy stays tucked in, your back not arched. Four. Good. Six. Two. Two more. Shoulders down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And come back. Into child's pose, have a little stretch and a rest. Good, now we're going to do side plank for 30 seconds. So, this isn't your typical gym side plank, it's an icy one. So, you actually want to try and make a rainbow shape with your body. So, elbow under shoulder. Okay, I'm on my right side. Top leg in front, back leg behind, and I'm going to lift my heel up and squeeze my inner thighs. And you're going to lifting up. That's it. Now in this position, I've got like a rainbow. So keep thinking of lifting up your hips and rotate your top hip and shoulder forward. So there's a little bit of rotation and lift up those hips. So you've got a rainbow shape and you're really working your obliques here. Keep thinking of lifting those hips. Squeeze your thighs together. Five seconds more. Three, two, one, and down. Nice. So it's a little bit different to a normal gym plank. And it's just trying to work your oblique, your rotation muscles a little bit more. Right. On your other side. So, elbow and the shoulder. Don't make it too wide. Top leg in front, bottom leg behind. And I'm going to push up and make a rainbow. So we lift the hips. Got a rainbow for my hips. Try and rotate that top hip forward a little bit. Top shoulder forward. Squeeze your inner thighs. And keep thinking of lifting those hips. Tummy in. Relax the head with your body. Keep it in line with your spine. 10 seconds more. Lift the hips. Five. Three. Two. One. And down. Nice. Okay. We've got our last high intensity coming up. This time we're going to do 30 seconds left leg, 30 seconds right leg, so we even it out. And then we've got a, my worst exercise for three minute squat. For those of you who've done it, you can dread it. But for now, let's do 30 seconds left, 30 seconds right. In three, two, one. Left leg down, lifting the right knee. Bring that knee in. Power it up. Use your abs, keeping everything nice and strong. Left leg is solid. Bring it in, power it, go fast. Use your arms. By using your arms, you bring your heart rate up. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and swap. Same thing again, strong right leg. Bring the knee in. Use your abs to bring that knee up. Breathing out, use your arms, strong arms. 20 seconds. Nice, everybody. Good, 10 seconds. 3, 2, 1, and relax. Nice. Okay, so now we've got the three minute squat. So, what we do is we're going to go down for a minute, up for a minute, down for a minute. At no point in time do we straighten our knees. And when we're at the bottom, we also don't sit and relax. There's always some tension. So I'll talk you through it. Drop down and come up with me. Okay. And let's go. Drop down a little bit. Make sure your weight is through your heels and your bum is going back. Back drop nice and straight. That's it. 
keep taking it away to see your heels. And drop down a little bit more. Knowing that we've still got a long way to go and various levels. Keep your weight back. Back up nice and straight, coming in. Shoulders down and back. And drop down a little bit more. So now we're getting to like a normal kind of squat. Keep it there. Trying to get your back up straight, coming in the whole time. Weight back to your heels. And drop down. So I'm not all the way down, but I'm as low as I can go, keeping active. Weight is through my heels. Shoulders back, tummy tight. That's one minute. Come up a little bit. Hold it there. Weight back through your heels. Well done, guys. So this is like the longest three minutes of your life, but it's okay. We've got the time. Try and keep your back up. And up a little bit more. Weight through your heels. Bum out behind you. Make sure your knees don't take strain. You should be feeling your inner thighs, your quads, your glutes. Coming in, shoulders back. Up a fraction more, a little bit. Again, check your weight. Coming in, shoulders down. We're nearly there. Up a little bit more. My legs are not straight. Do not straighten your knees. My muscles are activated the whole time. Weight is through my heels. Thumb is back, back is straight. Coming in, we need this. That's two minutes. One more to go, drop down. This minute should start feeling very hard. But you've got this. Nice work. And drop down, sure. Feeling it now, coming in. Good guys, we need really hot, we need really 30 seconds. And drop. 20 seconds left. Keep your tummy in tight. Heels, wait for your heels. Drop down a little bit more, hold it there. For another 10 seconds. Right, drop all the way down, make sure you're connected. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax back down. Sure. Well done, shake out the legs. So that's a little chiller. Um, you don't need to do heavy weights to feel your legs. So for those of us who don't have weights at home, we don't do weights in the neck. Keep shaking out those legs. All right, come and stand up. We're gonna do an arm series now, give our legs a rest. And then we've got one more high intensity on the right leg. Okay, shoulders down and back. Coming in, make sure you're tucking your bum in. So I've got a bottom that looks like I'm always out of my back, but if I tuck, my lumbar spine tongue flattens a little bit. Arms out to the side, palms facing backwards. Make sure your shoulder blades are pulled away from your ears. And you're gonna push back. I want you to spread your fingers. Spread your fingers as wide as you can, because that's where you actually activate the whole arm. So keep those fingers spread, shoulders down and back, and keep pushing back. You're just pulsing. If you have any neck issues and you get sore, keep pushing, don't stop. But if you've got getting sore, relax your arms, bend your elbows, do what you need to do. Okay, keep pushing. Right, now we're going up, back, up, back. Tummy in all the time. Shoulders away from your ears. Spread those fingers. Reach them away from each other into the walls opposite you. Come in. Tuck your chin in slightly to protect your neck. And breathe. Nice. So this is a sneaky exercise. Feels like it's nothing to start. And it starts creeping up on you. Maybe for the swimmers, not so much. You've got strong arms. So this is good for your stability, your shoulder blades. Good, now palms facing down to the floor. Stretch your fingers away, hold your arms there and do circles. The circles are coming from your shoulder blades. So I really want you to activate those shoulders and tummy in. 
and keep going with those circles. Don't stop. My shoulders are starting to burn. I really hope yours are too. And circles the other way. If your neck is getting sore, drop your arms down, take a rest. And breathe, coming in, shoulders down and back. Nice guys, keep going. Okay, push down to the floor, little pulses. I can feel my back ring, surely this must be good for it. Guys, you don't know what that is. And push. Spread your fingers. Don't let your hands relax. Because if they're activated, your whole arm is activated. And push. Ten more. Five. Don't drop your arms. And now, do the walk like the Egyptian. Keep your arms activated, keep the fingers spread. And breathe and tummy in all the time. We got ten more. Nine. Eight, your arms should be shaking. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shoo! Shake out those arms. Okay, just roll your head side to side. Give a little rest for your neck. And shake out those arms. Sneaky one, that. Okay, we've got one more high intensity. I kind of got it wrong, but I know we have to do the other leg. So I need to stand on my right leg. Previous time I was doing it on my left. We've got 60 seconds. This is our last one, I promise. And three, two, one. Let's go. Power that knee up. Into the chest. Strong arms. Make sure you're doing the leg that you haven't done. So by the end of this, we've done both legs twice and one minute with both. Strong knee and strong arms. And keep this leg strong. 20 seconds down. Good job. We're nearly there, guys. That's halfway. After this, we've got a bit of plank stuff and some abs. And then we're done. 20 seconds. Feels like it should be hot for Sunday. I don't know why. Feels like it's Easter. <laughs> 10 seconds. Good job. Keep going. Knee in. Three, two, one, and shake that leg out. Get that bum loosened. Come down to your mat. Okay. So, we're going to do, there's various names for this. I call it the commando. From a plank to a push up position, back down to a plank. Okay, so you start in this position, legs out behind you, and you go up with one arm and down. Up to the other side and down. So, let's do this together. We're doing 10. Legs up straight. And let's go up with our right arm. Right, right, left, right. Up with the left. Down with the left. Right, right, left, left. That's four, five. Make sure you keep alternating. Tuck your tummy in, make sure you're not arching your back. Tilt that part, pelvis. Two more. One. Two. And relax. Good job. Now we're going to do what we call the bomb. It's in a plank position. And you take one arm and touch your back. And the other side. Okay, we're going to do ten of these. The trick to try and keep your hips as still as possible. Get your elbows as close together as you can. You want to try and keep your hips dead still. So, let's go. We're going to do 10. Alternating. In a nice full plank. Lift your hips, press your bottom under. And tuck with your right arm. Left. Pull your tummy in. Left, that's four. Five. Hips still as you can. Seven. Eight. Tummy in, shoulders away from the ears. Give me two more just for fun. And relax, come back into child pose. Good, come 
Grab both hands behind your thigh and straighten that knee up. If you can't get it there straight, that's fine, you can do that. But also take the leg back as much as you need to straighten it. Now pull your knee in a little bit, bend it, and straighten. And bend. And straighten. Good. Just get a hamstring stretch. Now hold it there. Flex your foot and point. Flex and point. Nice. Left knee over left ankle, over left right knee. Getting my left and right knees up. Pull your knee up to you and push your left knee out to your left elbow. So we're stretching our left feet here. Sorry, my left and right today is as good as my counting. <laughs> right. Nice. Now straighten out that left leg. Pull your right knee across you. And look towards your right hand. Stretch that arm away. If you feel some clicks, not a bad thing. If it's sore, it's not a good thing. Good. Pull that knee, your right knee into your chest. Grab behind your thigh and stretching that leg up. Try and straighten that knee. And now bend your knee into your chest and straighten. And with each straighten, try and get more mobility, more range. So I'm much more flexible on this side. Now hold it there. Flex your foot and point. And point. Good. Right knee over left, right ankle over left knee. Pull your left knee into you and push your right elbow into your right knee. Good. Hug your knees to your chest, rock side to side a little bit, and then rock yourself up and just sit there. Let's just roll the shoulders. Thanks so much, guys. That was a great class. And we'll see you again. For those who come every day, we'll see you tomorrow. Roll your chin along your chest. And for the KA group, we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Awesome class, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it.